Hi everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good. Today we will talk about SQL Server Query Store. Okay. Before starting the session, I would request to each and everyone whoever newly join our channel, please like to subscribe. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA, which can help you in a day-to-day -day activity. If you are getting help, please share with others as well, and you can join as a channel member and you can contribute YouTube thanks as well. So I have created uh, one document it's a basic document for query store which can help you so here we'll talk about the overview about the query store okay what it what uh, how the query store is helping and and what are the features about uh, in query store okay so basically it's a newly features introduced by in a sql server 2016 so sql server 2016 having a features called query store okay it's basically sql server flight recorder or we can say the black box which capturing which capturing the you know the runtime execution statics and execution plans against a specific database so basically it's a database level setting okay so whenever a re, uh, any uh, you know uh, or, uh, request come to sql server engine okay so what uh, what will do uh, the it's it's creating the best optimized execution plan and all right query uh, query execution plan so that those query execution plan it stores somewhere right what query store will do it will store somewhere in a, for the future reference okay so what it oh, oh, so this information basically helps to identify the performance problems caused by query plan cache and troubleshooting by quickly finding the performance differs even after sequence of restart or up, restart or upgrade so basically here is the logical you know uh, difference uh, if you restart the sql server engine whatever the query execution plan in your buffer memory and all it will flush out but this features what it will do if any past query their execution plan is executed already so it will take it from the buffer manager and it will store somewhere for the future reference although you will start the sql server engine or you upgrade later point of time you can use that one okay so this is the fe main features for query store if somebody asks what query store is doing so basically query store is nothing it's like just a, like a container we can say so what it will do any execution plan or any statics about the particular query it will store somewhere for future point of reference okay here are some common scenario where the sql server query store features can be used okay so what are the features uh, scenarios so these are the find the most expensive query for CPU IO memory etc. Get full history for query execution. Get the information about the query regression, regression a new execution plan generated by query engine in worse than older one. Quickly performance regression and fixing it by forcing the previously query plan whose performance are much better than newly generated plan. So see you can see this third point uh, you can get the overview. What it will do if in a past you executed particular query and those query execution plan you have stored in a query store and now again you are hitting for for the same query and you, if you are comparing the previous execution plan is better than the newly generated execution plan. So what a query execution will do it will fix internally okay. So this is the benefit of query execution plan. Determine how many times query was executed in given range of time. So these are the you know common scenario where we can use the query store. Now quick facts about the query store. Okay, so the SQL Server query store is a pre-database level features, which means that it can be enabled on every SQL Server database separately by using the Management Studio or TSQL. It is not instance level setting. I told you it's a purely database level setting. Okay. The SQL Server query store allows analyzing the performance using the the built-in reports and DMV quickly and easily. The SQL Server Query Store feature is available on every SQL Server edition. On Azure database, SQL Server Query Store is enabled by default. So this is the, you know, even it's asked in an Azure exam also, whether the query uh, store is enabled by default or not. So for Azure database, uh, Query Store is enabled by default. The minimum fee, uh, permission is required, you know, the view database state permission. The minimum permission is required. 
Now we talk about the setup, how we can do the setup. It's very simple. Connect your SQL Server instance, go to database as it's a database level uh, set uh, feature. So you can go right click on database, come to properties. Okay. Then you can see here we query a store. Okay. Now you need to go to the operation mode requested. You need to come down, drop down and you need to enable this read write. As soon as you will enable the read write, these value by default it will come it will change okay so leave it the uh, default setting and press it okay so by this processing the okay button database properties dialog box as well as query store is enabled okay which will so store your query execution plan to enable the query execution with the tsql it's a very simple statement alter database database name set query store equal to on okay this point it's very very you know highlighted point so you need to be very clear query store cannot be enabled on a master or temp database okay this is sometimes interview question also whether we can enable the query store for the master database no we cannot enable for master or temp database so well that's it hope uh, this small document can help you to understand the query store how the query store is working what is the features why we are using the query store where we can use the query store. So I will try to upload this document in a share location. You can download it from there itself. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Till then, bye-bye. Keep watching. We'll meet you soon, guys.